so you want your Lux renders to be more lit, but selecting the fire and smoke material just doesn't work. So how do you make your render fire? Well, first of all, your fire must be an OpenVDB. If you have like a 20 terabyte fire simulation that you've already spent the last three months simulating in Unicache or what have you, then my condolences. I'll leave a cat video or something for you in the description. Anyways, if you have the OpenVDB fire simulation ready, select your fire domain object and give it a null transparent material. Now add in a volume node and plug it into the interior volume of the material. And now that we have a smoky block, we can add in all of the fiery stuff. Add in an OpenVDB node and select your fire's domain object. Now open the VDB file. Find the fire simulation and in the data folder, look up density underscore. And be sure to sort by name. Select density underscore 0001 and then press A to select everything. And now plug it into the volume scatter scale. And now it's got the smoky fiery clouds. Also, add in a multiply node so we can make the fiery clouds more or less dense. Duplicate the first OpenVDB node and open a new file. This time in the VDB data folder, look up flame underscore. Sort by name again, select flame underscore 0001, select all and accept. Now plug that VDB node into the volume emission and now we have the fire itself. Using another multiply node, we can change the brightness of the flame, and then, using a color multiply node, we can change the color of the flame. We can already get some really cool results with just this, but if we want realistic fire, it's gonna need the right color. So duplicate the open VDB nodes once more, and this time open all the heat underscore VDB files just like before, and now we have the heat of the simulation. All we need now is the color, but here's the thing. The black body color node doesn't have any inputs. I don't know why the black body node doesn't have any inputs, especially for something like fire, which is literally nothing but black body radiation, but it's whatever. Instead, we have to use a color bands node and just eyeball the black body colors and use a multiply node so we can change the temperature of the fire. I mean, using the color ramp does allow for cool artistic control, but if you're going for something realistic, eyeballing it might not cut it. So instead, I went through and made this. A black body color ramp. Basically, I went into Eevee and rendered out a plane with just the black body temperature increasing, and then sampled the raw colors into a color ramp. Well over half the color ramp does look white, but that's because the higher color temperatures get clipped but the color is still there. Now we have a lit render, but it's a fairly complicated process, especially for the accurate color. So if you want, I made a blend file with all of this already set up. All you have to do is append and apply the material, give it the actual VDB files, and then you're good to go. Just look in the description to find it. Anyways, I'm CGX, stay epic, see you guys.